Um, last night we played Sturge Creek for the district championship game, and we won 3-1. So thank you to everyone who came out and supported. Um, our next game is the region semis against Coffee County on Tuesday at 7. It will either be here or at Siegel Park. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm missing my little friend, but um, last night volleyball won, so now we're going to state. State is next week, and when we find out when and how you need to get tickets to get out of school and stuff is when, like, we'll tell you, but we made it to state, so, you know, come support next week. All right, good morning, Seagull. Seniors, you have one week until your ACT retake, which is next Saturday, October 22nd. I hope you guys have been preparing for this. Uh, if you notice, I am wearing my ACT 21 Plus shirt uh, from last year. So I'd like to see more seniors get a copy of this shirt as well. So just a reminder that tomorrow is our ACT scrimmage here in our library. Check-in is at 7.30 a.m. Uh, 8 a.m. is testing. I'll give you a practice test that you can take home uh, by the end of it. Please see Ms. Gober at the back of the library to sign up. All right, Siegel. Uh, it's that time of year again. It's time for you to do a great thing for your community. Uh, canned food drives kicking off. Um, we were doing this through your first period, so first period teachers, anything you can do to give students an incentive, um, this is a great thing. We can give back to the community. Um, all your donations of cans, money, um, however you want to do that donating, um, stays right here in Rutherford County at the Rutherford County Food Bank. Um, so uh, let's get off our cans and donate some cans to help everybody else. Thanks, guys. All right, you might want to put down your phones and listen to this, especially if you're a senior. We are uh, finishing up college application week now. Uh, we're glad that we had so much participation. I want to make sure that you understand how blessed you are to go to a school where the staff, the administration, and the teachers care so much about you. When I was uh, a kid, we didn't do any of this. We didn't get fired up. We didn't get uh, two chances to take the ACT. We didn't have anybody saying, hey, think about where you're going to college. And uh, the staff here has really gone out of their way. So thank a teacher, thank an administrator today for College App Week because it's really important. Now, we are going to give away prizes to the seniors. Next year, the people that are juniors will be seniors and it'll be your turn. But this year it's just a senior. So we have some good prizes. We've got uh, refrigerator, we've got a microwave, we've got coffee pots, we've got gift cards of various uh, uh, sizes to a bunch of different stores. For all you hungry college kids, you will be eating ramen, but with these gift cards, maybe you can go to a pizza place or a hamburger place and get a decent meal. Also, for those nights when you're staying up and you're studying, because we know you study, coffee pots and things like that. So. Without further ado, we're going to just randomly draw a name. I'm not picking my favorite student. Let's see here. It is for a refrigerator, a college refrigerator, Christian Hawks. There you go. Now, where are they going to pick these up? They will get their gifts next week. You are going to be given these gifts next week. They'll be brought to you. All right. The next one is for a microwave. College microwave can't live without that. It is Emma Planner or Planer. Oh, that, look at you yeah. go! Look at you go! Hey, you can't have that. No, she's got to take that to the thing. <laughs> All right, now for a midnight coffee pot. Turns itself off so you don't burn yourself down in the dorm. Cody Bogle. Cody Bogle. Now for another coffee pot. Ashley Bear, Ashley Bear coffee pot. We're gonna go through these pretty fast so we can get the announcements done. There's a lot. We got another whole set of prizes over there. This is Tuesday's dress up. Uh, this is Tuesday's dress up day, by the way. Ryan Stocks, and that is we give away two coffee pots. We already did twenty. Okay, we're giving away a twenty-five dollar gift card. Now this is for a ten dollar gift card. This is gonna be no another twenty-five. We got two. Oh, just another twenty-five dollar gift card. Sydney Martin. There you go. It's hard to read and announce at the same time. And now we got another ten. This one is a ten dollar gift card. This is going to be Chris Bradley. Ew. And this is another ten dollar gift card. It is Jada Pope. And you say we have a third one, All right? 
And one more, Harry Marshall. There you go. Those are your Tuesday's winners. But don't start crying yet, because we have Thursday's winners. Same prize, a refrigerator, a microwave, two coffee pots, tons of gift cards. So the refrigerator winner for Thursday's dress-up day is... Nicholas Radiker. Some of y'all need to work on your handwriting. He does. Omar Lyons is going to be the microwave recipient. Going to give Omar a, a microwave. Now we got a coffee pot. Nice coffee pot. Paige Anderson. And for another automatic off coffee pot, we've got Leah Porch. Oh. Leah Porch, people cheering. All right, now for a $25 gift card, we've got Nikki Garbison. Wait, what did I win? Garbison. We got a bunch of good kids winning stuff in here. All right, what are we on now? Another $25 uh, gift card? Yes. Another $25 gift card, Darian Campbell. <laughs> and let's see here. We got a, what's this, $10 gift card, yes. Gracie Weathers. <laughs> and another $10 gift card, we got Austin Victory. One more. And the last one for today is Carly Clement. So congratulations to all y'all. We appreciate your participation in College Application Week. Start thinking about your futures. That's what high school is all about. Setting you up to be successful in college and college sets you up for your lifetime of making money. Good morning, Single High School. Thank you, Mr. Devers and Ms. Miller and everyone that's involved in College App Week. Congratulations to all those students that won prizes. Uh, once again, congratulations to the soccer team on the district championship, and of course, uh, congratulations to the volleyball team on their ne uh, next state appearance. They'll play Wednesday. I think soccer is Tuesday. Uh, I believe it's against Coffee County, they said. So there'll be more sports here in just a minute with Chadwick. Uh, once again, though, uh, students, remember I told you before fall break, and I forgot to remind you on Monday. Uh, Start, make sure you know that dress code because starting on Monday, if we've got any issues, then we will start dealing with that a little more severe than what we've been doing. Most of you have done a pretty good job this week. I've seen a couple with holes too high in their pants. I'd hate to go to the rule of no holes in your pants, period, but if we continue to see them up too high, we will have to do that because we're not going to deal with that. So have a great weekend. Uh, football game tonight at Blackman at 7 o'clock. Stole a little of your th thunder, but that's okay. Yes. Have a great day. All right, Siegel. We got football tonight, seven o'clock. We're meeting at Siegel at six. All right. Also, volleyball plays next Wednesday at MTSU. Times will be announced later, and you will be here's the bucket. Thank you. You will be getting out of class to come and watch. So tomorrow you have cross country in Dixon running at eight. You got rugby all day tomorrow at MTSU rugby field. So good luck sports today and tomorrow. Seniors, since Coach Pitts is out this week, you will report to Coach Revis in port Portable 6 for ACT math tutoring during start time. We are having a ping pong club interest meeting next Tuesday, October 18th. We will meet in Miss Nelson's room, room 809 at 320. If you have any questions, then see Mrs. Nelson or Mastin Kirkham. Any senior who has not been photographed should see Ms. Jer Jergens by Friday to schedule an appointment time. Please see her before or after school or during fourth or sixth period. The final photo date is next week. This is the only opportunity to be photographed here at Siegel. Now on to you, Mason. Thanks, Emma. Reminder, this Saturday is the last ACT scrimmage our in our library before the seniors take the ACT on October 22nd. Check-in is at 7.30 a.m. and testing begins at 8. This is for our seniors, but any grade level can participate. Please see Mrs. Gover in the back of the library to sign up. Students, make sure you bring a pencil, calculator, and a snack. Science Olympiad will be having a follow-up meeting for interested students on Tuesday, October 18th during start time in room 911. If you would like to sign up for Science Olympiad, please come see Miss Julia Berry in room 911 to get a pass to, com to come to the meeting. That's all for your announcements, Siegel. Have a put out the blaze Friday. <laughs>